Hi everyone, I am just sharing this little live video with you this afternoon because I'm going to be sketching out a bunch of dog paintings that we're going to be using for our paint our pet event, paint your pet event at Lamb's Farm this Saturday. So the event is sold out. Um, the style that we're doing is about like this little girl. And I'm going to be sketching, pre-sketching, um, this is what's included in the class, um, pre-sketching everyone's dog or cat onto canvas, and then they're going to be painting it in during the event. And of course, taking it home with them. So this is the style that I'm going to be teaching. It's a very simple um, underpainting with a colored background. And actually, now that I think about it, I have the, a black underpainting in this painting. We're going to use a brown underpainting in these paintings because it's still a really cute outcome. And it's going to give everybody um, a nice warm canvas to start off with. All right, so I'm just going to start with one painting right now. I'm going to bring up the reference photo of one of the dogs that was sent to me. And these are super cute little guys. So this is one of the little dogs that is going to be painted this, this Saturday. And I'm just going to start off with um, making the face just a little off-center because I think that makes for a cute composition. Um, and, and since this dog has the light coming from this side, I might have this side, uh, I might have it a little off-center towards the right. So I'm going to start with just my basic circle. So this is where I want the dog's head to be. And the center line. So the center line is going to be, since the dog's facing me, I'm going to just do a straight line down the center. And I'm going to start, start looking for shapes. So I can see that there's a shape right here to his mouth and the fur around his mouth. Looks super cute. And this is a very happy little dog, so adorable. And we'll start with just a little nose in the middle. There's a little tuft of fur kind of coming around the nose between the eyes and the nose. So I'm just going to get that space down there and, and the eye. The other eye is going to be a little covered up. I'm just going to stick that there. It's got a little bit of a that little space below his nose. And then he has, I think it's a he, we'll just say it's a he, this cute little tongue action with the bottom lip. And even though it's very hard to see the difference between the white of the chin and the neck, I'm just going to put this little bit of fluff around there so that the owners can see what they're painting. And then like a lot of puppies or a lot of dogs this breed, they have this little fountain kind of coming over their eyes and down the side. Now this dog's face looks very round and mine looks very narrow because I haven't widened out for the ears yet. So let's do that. Let's get some little crazy little hairs and his ears are going to come way out like this. And if you look at where this ear ends, it's about where the teeth are. So we want to make sure we have the ears nice and long. And I'm just, I'm just thinking about the direction of the, the fur and trying to get that direction indicated with the chalk a little bit. And then this cute little ear on this side. And I think there might be actually some more height up here, so I'm going to get a little more forehead. Make it look a little bit more blocky. Because he's got some... And then we're just going to, where the ear ends, it kind of fluffs out a little bit. Going to give it a little shoulders here. And there you go. So this is the canvas. This is the little drawing we're going to start off with. And I think that we've got most of this little dog captured in a very cute basic shapes. And it's about capturing sort of like the essence and the personality and, and just the, f the overall likeness of the dog. This isn't a very, um, you know, uh, complicated portrait. We don't want to make it overwhelming for the, for the customers. 
But so now I'm just checking basic proportions to, or the eyes. Maybe the eyes could be a tiny bit wider. So I'm going to take a clean, damp brush and maybe just move the eyes over just a little bit. Just widen them a tiny bit. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Marge. So let's get that dried off. And I'm going to put the eyes just, oh, it's too wet to do it now. Let me just get the nose a little bit more defined here. And let's go with the eyes a little bit wider. Okay. So that's that doggy. All right. So next. Next dog. And we're going to do this little guy. Oh my gosh, what a cute little gremlin. Okay, look at that face. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Okay, so now this I know, I think this is the same owner who sent both these pictures. So I might do, um, I could do this dog on the other side, like here. Um, this way it gives a little variation to their, you know, their composition. It looks like a Papillon mix. So this dog has a very small, huge eyes, but this, this area here with the muzzle is very tiny. And I see the, I wanted to establish the overall shape of his head. Oh, my dog just came in and op left my door open. Let me close the door because our bird is so noisy. Hi, Duke. All right, so the, the head is just this little, I'm gonna put the head right here and the ears. Kind of going off to the side over there. And this big fountain of hair coming down. And the face is just these little, this little triangle right in here. So I'm gonna get the eye. And the nose, the eyes are gigantic. And they're all pretty close to this little tiny muzzle. So she's got these little, little tiny fluffs here. But I want to kind of give, I'm drawing it to give shape to the coloring as well as to the dog itself. I want the, this to be something that the, the owners can follow. So I'm going to give a little bit of structure to the line direction and the shapes of the big chunks of fur. So this baby's got this big, long dark area here. So that long area and then we're going to come down with a little bit of white fur here. So the black's going to end here. I'm going to darken up what the black's going to be. And the, the little muzzle has to stay nice and tight up here, but then underneath here is the shadows where the hair is coming down. Okay, so this is really going to transform when it's in color. It looks very silly right now. But I'm going to just check on the spacing. That looks pretty good. Um, the height of the hair. The height of the forehead's pretty good. It's pretty high. It's almost the same height as the face itself. Yep, that's about right. So, let's see what else. The eyes are just so big on this dog. 
I think that'll work. Okay. You could always, they're always going to make little small adjustments when they're painting it. This is just to kind of get them in the ballpark. All right, so there's that little Papillon mix. And I, when, this, when this dog has its little hairs that are just flicking out, it's going to look so cute. The little stray hairs are going to make this dog, this dog's portrait, really cute. All right, so there's the first two dogs. And um, let's see, what other one do we want to do right now? Let's do this little husky, because this husky is very well marked, and the patterning is super crisp. All right, so let's see, we're going to have our husky. I think I'm going to do him off to the side this way. So I'm going to do a little, oh, actually, no, you, you know what? They have this dog too, so this dog's going to be on this side. I'll have him be over like on this side then. So this guy's got a not as much long hair, so let's just get the basic shapes of his face. I kind of see this like this kind of shape. I want his little muzzle. in here, his eyes, let's get his eye line, and we can do a center line, he's pretty looking pretty straightforward. So his eye line is above his nose, he's got some pretty, pretty big eyes, I think this is a miniature husky, he looks pretty, looks pretty petite. So there's his eyes and, oops. Now his ears are more upright, whereas the Papillon's ears were way out to the side. So these dogs definitely have more of a cat-like ear. So it's much pointing up higher. And I'm looking at the space between the ears isn't too big. And she's got this cute little white markings. We're going to go out to the side, in. Little pokey thing up there. black kind of goes a little beyond the white here make it look like he's sitting instead of laying down we'll just do that now I don't usually draw the collars in on the dog that they can add that if they want I think it looks cuter without the collars All right, so that's that little guy. Little baby husky, adorable. All right, so if you missed the beginning of this video, these are some just some line drawings I'm creating for our Paint Your Pet event. Um, unfortunately, it's sold out, but I'm just sharing this with you in case you want to attempt painting your dog or your pet. Um, it's something that can be very fun and easy to do. And I always start with like a, an underpainting and then just a simple line drawing. And, and then, you know, various times throughout the year, I'll offer a Paint Your Pet event um, either online or in person. So if you want to learn more about it, you can always um, check out our other videos in the free Facebook group. Um, I believe I have a few Paint Your Pet, um, at least one probably in the video section of our free group. All right, thanks for watching everybody and I will see you later.